guys. So, uh, continuing our topics on ASP.NET, today we are going to discuss what view state in ASP.NET. So, first of all, uh, you must have heard that the web application is stateless. You have also heard that HTTP, the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is stateless. What is the meaning of this stateless? Stateless basically means uh, it is not maintaining its state. How? What state is? State is basically the value that we store in, that we give to a variable or that we give to a control. Say we have a text box, it do contain some values. That is its state. If we have some variables, say A, B, X, Y, they have some value, it's their state. So, what is the meaning of stateless? That means we have placed some value to the text box, we moved to the server, we came back and we see the text box are blank. Oh my God, I have a bag. I put it some books on that bag. I went outside of the room for some time and come again to my room and I see my bag is empty. Oh, what this happens? This should not happen. So how we are going to maintain the state? We are going to maintain the state in different ways. We can maintain them by using view state, by control state, hidden fields, cookies, query strings, and on the server side, by application state, session state, and profile properties. Now, see, the other languages like PHP and Java, they have concepts of cookies, sessions, and hidden fields, query strings, and all. And that is ASP.NET, which gives us this facility of view state to maintain the state of the client okay so generally what view state is it's a method method for which purpose this method is to preserve the value of the whole page or the control between the round trips what this round trip is this round trip is basically when you are say, redirecting a page from client to server and server to client back or you are generally redirecting a page from one page to another page that's basically called a round trip. So between the round trip, when the page comes back to the original page, the state goes on. They do not maintain the state and we need to maintain that state. For that, we will use view state in ASP.NET. Okay, let's see an example. We have two text boxes, two buttons. Now in code, what we are doing, we are placing the value of text box 1 to A, text box 2 to B, and then we are making blank to these text boxes. What is our intention? That when we will click on button 3, we should get back the value of A and B to two text boxes. Let we see if it, if it could possible. Then, when we are executing this program, we are seeing that we are not using any state management technique. So what is happening? We have placed two values, name and password in these two text boxes and clicking on submit, it is sending it to the server. And when it is coming back, this text box is blank. That means state is not being maintained and we are not using any techniques. So when we will click on restore button, still the text boxes will be blank. Even the, what we are trying to do is we are placing the value of A and B to these two text boxes, but A and B is blank in this case. So it's not being retrieved. So the option is using view state. See, with the help of view state, now we are storing the value of text box one and text box two to two different view states, and we are retrieving them with the help of view state as well. So when we are doing the same example, we are clicking on submit, it is going back and coming back at that time, text box will be blank. But when we will click on restore, it will get the name and password or whatever value you are placing in these two text boxes. So guys, this was about view states, very important topic to maintain the values of the variables or text boxes for a round trip. Whenever the page is going to the server and coming back, it is going to maintain its values. It is going to persist its values, uh, page level or control level with the help of view states. 
so guys this is all for this lecture in the next next lectures we will discuss some other properties and controls of asp.net till then keep watching thank you very much